woke up, brushed my teeth, washed my face, and put these like puppy eye masks on because I'm so tired still. But today we're going to Cotton Eat, the Met, and I think we're going to Central Park today in a bunch of little stores that I cannot remember right now. But I'm super excited. I'm gonna get ready for the day and then I'm going to go back home. But yeah, stay tuned. We're currently on our way to Cotton Eat. That should be fun. the Met. This is the line to get inside, but it's worth it. Isn't it worth it, Megan? It's worth it. Walking through the Met. I think this is the medieval art. I just saw the thing up there. It's so beautiful. I'm walking the same way Kim Kardashian walked. <laughs> Stunning. The Met. So nice. My boyfriend would love it here. Do or like a set design or like a makeup look or something that I kind of like want to work with, I put it down. And whenever I have to do a project and I'm running out of ideas, I go back to this note and I see what can I gather from there that is helpful to me. Uh, I tend to forget stuff, so I always write things down. And whenever I need, uh, you know, ideas or portraits in like the darkness. Then I'll go in that note and see what is what I have there or what I have to kind of like continue this project. Uh, sometimes also creativity is a problem, you know. Sometimes I'm in my computer for like hours and the ideas just don't come off. So I have also learned to stop it there and if it's not happening, just kind of like stop it and just kind of like go for a walk or like uh, call a friend or a child, call my parents or something to not force, you know, uh, to not force it because it doesn't happen to me, like that to me, at least to me. Um, yeah. We're currently in the meatpacking district, also called the Chelsea district, which is one of the like trendiest and I would say busiest, not really busiest, but I would say trendy, definitely, because of the building architecture places in New York. And yeah, we're going to discover the meatpacking industry and hopefully like go to Soho and Chelsea Market and things like that. in Hassan Yard is a bronze okay. building so he created that building after us but this building was and he did also fly a little island in Chelsea it's like open. welcome back to the information part of the vlog I hope you enjoyed some of the clips that I added in previously of like what we did 
So this vlog was a mixture of two days, Tuesday and Wednesday. And like what we did on Tuesday, we had the opportunity to to go to Cotton Inc. to learn about like their company and how they plan to like expand and things like that. So we learned that their headquarters, well, they have here in New York in a place in North Carolina. So um, one of the things that they told us was their mission statement, which is to increase demand and profitability of cotton through research and promotion. I don't know, I'm reading my notes of like what we took. And basically what I got from that is that they're trying to expand, you know, the known of cotton. Because of course we know that our clothes are made of cotton. A lot of things have cotton in them and how cotton could be used. So I think that's what they're trying to push now, especially. So something that they told us with that was that they're trying to use like the whole cotton seed, trying to use the seed and the stem of the cotton just so that they don't have any waste. They're trying to get ways or like find ways to use the cotton where us humans can eat it because they do give the seeds to like livestock and stuff like that. But yeah, if they can find a way to use the whole cotton seed, then they're gonna get a lot more money. Their budget ranges from 80 to 90 million. And cotton represents approximately 50% of the fibers in an item. That's the shower. Okay. In an item. They are also a nonprofit organization. And I like that because I actually didn't know that they were a nonprofit. I always thought. I don't know. I just did not know that they were nonprofit. So when they said that, I was really shocked, actually. And they get their money from consumers that, like, you know, give money. Or they get it from brands such as, like, Macy's and, like, Under Armour that happen to, like, sponsor them, I would say, to give them money. Oh, one more thing that I actually really found interesting was that... So they recently had, a like, a partnership with Good American, but with which is owned by Khloe Kardashian and when they said that I was instantly like super interested like I was really interested but I was like like more more interested and I wanted to know like why they chose Good American like how did they know that they wanted to work with Good American so basically they told us that they like to go with companies that range from all sizes because they are a clothing company they liked the range of good american and how like good american is basically for everyone so it's for plus size you know people with more curves people that are petite skinny so they really like that because they can reach a broader audience those are basically the key points that i got from cotton ink i really liked going over there and learning about that because I never thought that I would be able to go and talk to somebody who works at Cotton Inc. And yeah, then we had the opportunity to go back to Windows Wear. I think today with Windows Wear was actually one of my favorites. I really like talking. Oh, I know that we talked to. We got a presentation from Raul Toad. I think that's how you say it. And he's a photographer. He's originally from Mexico. And he told us that he moved here like 10 years ago to pursue his dream in photography. So he told us that he did not go to school for photography. He went to school and got his communications degree. And he went for production. So photography was something that he did on the side. Which was actually really cool cool as well because it's something that he had a passion for but wasn't going to school for and now his whole career is based off his side hustle you know what I mean so I thought it was really cool so some things that I learned about once again I'm reading my notes because it was so early I don't really remember but one of the things or some of the things I should say that I learned were that different ways to make money from photography Honestly, 
and I really thought much about photography <laughs> but I learned that you could either be an editorial which is when you put your pictures into magazines it could be a commercial photographer which is basically putting your pictures on Instagram or like social media and stuff like that and I think that's where the money is well I know that's where the money is because he said that you can also do portraits personal projects or have your own business on the side one of the cons which out of many of like personal photography would have to be that you start with no budget so basically you have to take a leap of faith and like feel confident in what you're doing to see results some of the pros i'll just give one pros i need one con one of the pros is that you know you get to have your own creative freedom you get to show your point of view from the pictures that you're taking and things like that i really enjoy listening to raul he was so 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 inspiring and just interesting to listen to and hear how he got you know to take pictures for vogue and be with celebrities like kendall jenner rosalia and things like that and basically from what he was telling us, what I got out of it was, don't stop. Just continue pursuing your dreams. Work hard. Like, if you know a way to do what you want to do, then just do it. Like, you're young. You have potential. And if you really want to be in this business, then you will find a way to do it. So, I don't know. I just really like listening to him. Hopefully, like... We get to, or I get to talk to him again sometime in life and get more advice from him. I didn't want to, like, bore all of you with some of the information that we learned today. And then we have the opportunity to go to Windowsware and Cotton Ink, but we also got to visit other areas such as the Chelsea Market. We got to go to D. F, which is I've never heard of that store before but it was really nice it was really nice getting to talk to the workers that were actually like around our age and see how they got where they are and how like what we should do to get in their position and I really liked it it was a really good store I never actually heard of DVF before I think it's marketed well I know now that it's marketed to uh like older audience just because their prices are up there but their clothes are really cute like the wrap dresses were really nice the workers were very kind and i actually really liked it i don't know if, i think i have a clip in here of that i can't exactly remember if i do edit that out but yeah i had a lot of fun we walked through soho and chelsea the chelsea market which was very nice we passed by well, we were around the Tribeca area, and then we went to some other designer stores and learned about them as well that I did not know about, such as like Long, Long Chomp, I guess how you say it, which is a French brand, which was really cute. It wasn't really my style, but I really liked it. Like the store was, it was very much designer. So I had the opportunity to go to the Met which was one of the best things that we did that day in my opinion i've always wanted to go to the met and see it because of gossip girl of course and it was incredible we didn't get to see the whole museum but we had the opportunity to go into the part of the museum that they were basically where the or what the theme of the met gala was which was in america it was very Cool to see the different pieces it was in the type of clothes that they wore there but the fashion was very much what I thought it would be like for that time thank you for watching this video and if you made it this far thank you for listening to me ramble it was kind of hard for me to pick some specific facts because just everything was so informational i think that's right <laughs> everything was so informational and i learned so much i'm so thankful that i had the opportunity to come on this trip this is 
it's not the last vlog we still have one more vlog which would be the last vlog of the last day in new york but yeah i hope you have a good day and thank you for watching Thank you.